everybody. And today, it's leftovers. Uh, after we ate all those chicken nuggets, Branson just, yeah, he didn't want any more pizza. I got pizza galore. I've got three slices of cheese and two of pepperoni. I put extra cheese on all of it. The, the cheese was already extra cheese. Now it's extra, extra cheese. And the pepperoni is now extra cheese. I don't know if I'm going to eat all this, but I'm going to start. I might as well start with the cheese because that's what I got the most of. Pizza Hut, thin crust cheese pizza, some red peppers on it. I guess I could have left it in the oven a little bit longer. I was afraid it'd be a brick. It's actually still floppy. Now the crust might be a brick. The crust at the end, you know. Oh. That is just good. Actually, it wasn't that long ago I had lunch. I didn't do a mukbang for lunch today. I carried food to my son's school. And I had lunch with him. Of course, it would be possible, impossible to do one of those at his school. You ever had lunch with your kids? It's very loud. A large room full of a hundred and something kids. All of them sounding like they've been sucking on some helium. The heat wave continues here in North Carolina. Grass is starting to turn brown. It's just, it's like trying to give up. And actually, where I'm living, it hadn't rained that much. There's been a lot of hit and miss rain. I just missed my neighborhood. You know, I might rain an inch half a mile down the road. Well, their grass is going to look good. Mine's still starving to death. To be honest, most of the time when I order pizza, like say something like pizza, it's usually going to be a deep dish. I feel like I'm getting more for my money. You know, if you're going to spend fifteen dollars, why buy one this thick when you can get one that thick? Sometimes you just got to get a crunchy pizza. Now, I go to buffet, I'll be snagging more of them thin ones because I can sample more fla uh, toppings and different styles. Peach Punch, Minute, Minute Maid, Peach Punch. All right. Now, I think I put too much Parmesan cheese. It just kind of dumps out all of a sudden. Now some pepperoni with extra cheese on top. Now it's hard to see the pepperonis.
little too much. Off of that. It's good for soaking up grease. You could sprinkle it on there to soak up the grease and then get a spoon and then like scoop up some of the excess cheese. Sometimes you can put a paper towel on the pizza, but sometimes the cheese will stick. Now you got a paper towel in your pizza. In the past, when making a homemade pizza, I've taken the pepperonis and wrapped them in about two or three big paper towels and heat them just in my microwave, 10 or 15 seconds is probably enough. That If that doesn't get them too, too hot, you might go a few more seconds. And then squeeze the paper towels and get a lot of that. Pepperonis are really greasy. They really have just, as far as I know, plain pepperonis and turkey pepperonis. How about just kind of, uh, you know. I don't know what you call it, light pepperonis. And cut them extra thin. Me and Branson used to eat lots of pizza. Mm -hmm. Especially the Little Caesars. Cheap, quick. And if me and him just eat two pieces a piece, there's another meal. Now you've eaten two meals for $5. We've kind of, we're not eating as much pizza. We still eat it, but it's not like practically every week, maybe even twice a week. For a while there, it was about one to twice a week. Of course, he might move on to different foods, but since I'm like the, you know, family dog or whatever, the family billy goat, if you live on a farm, I, I'm going to eat the food. I, I don't want to throw it away. And sometimes the leftovers that's there is not exactly what I'd prefer to have. It's there. I bought it. I know some people that will hardly ever touch a, a leftover. That's just not them. They're ready to move on to something else. I don't think I'm going to eat all of this. I think I can eat one more. The other two will be a three times heated up pizza breakfast in the morning. That's all right. I'll eat it. I might even microwave them that time. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I haven't been able to pull the major pig out session in a while. There's times when I just eat, 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 you know? All right, I got to do the other pepperoni. These two big, fat cheese ones. Easily be breakfast. Easily. No doubt. I have no problem eating pizza with crushed red peppers on it for breakfast. 
lot of times me and Branson eat uh, chicken flavored ramen noodles for breakfast. It's really easy, cheap, and we both like them. So now you're talking about eating real cheap. So I think a case of them at Walmart's only like two dollars a case. I don't know how many's in it. Twelve, maybe. Twelve meals for two dollars, or ten. I don't know what's in a case. I bought one today. I don't count it. I just know it's a big box of ramen noodles. I'm pretty sure it said two dollar. Two dollar? That's a good deal. You can see the ceiling fan flickering probably in the picture behind me. I cut the AC off for a few minutes. I'm not cutting that fan off. My AC is dying on me. The unit. And uh, I'm going to have it overhauled. I'm not even going to tell you what my electricity bills have been. But it basically runs 24-7. If you ever had a unit that ran 24-7, then you know what I'm talking about. It's got Freon, blah, blah, blah. It's just getting ready to give up the ghost. And I believe we're going to have it rebuilt. So, my unit's struggling. It's actually losing the battle. The house is getting warmer than what I got it set on. It just can't do it. And I cut it off to this video. I've made several videos with it running. I try to pull it out with some uh, software. I've noticed a lot of people that do mukbangs do make very loud videos when they're not talking to you real hard. There's things you can do about that. You know, it can be a little time consuming. But the more you do it, the better you get, the faster you get. I'm not complaining. Some of those people make better mukbangs than me. I'm just a little newbie. What do I know? But I am trying to make the best content possible than my ability. I almost dropped it. Actually, I did, but I dropped it on the plate, not the floor. I got grease drippings on my paper plate holders. I'll have to wash them again. I just washed. Last few bites. That was real good. I guess I shouldn't fumble with a napkin in front of a microphone. I pretty, I really stuffed my mouth with that bite. It's taking me a minute to chew it down.
stuck all in my teeth. Pizza Hut, they're everywhere. We used to have, in Chapel Hill, we had um, Godfather's Pizza, but they, they disappeared. Okay, enough of that. That was great. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had something to eat with me. But anyway, if you liked it, hit the like. Subscribe if you want to see some more. Thank you for watching. And check back in because I'm always eating. Okay? All right. We'll see you later. Bye.